everybody. This is Elijah Keating from WisdomSeekers.net. Please go check us out. We have some awesome readers. And uh, this is the energy for January 27th to February 2nd. The first month of the year has already passed. We've only got 11 more months to go to start another year. <laughs> Joke. But uh, this is 2019. So let's see what the energy is for us this uh, this time this week. Last week was very interesting energy. I completely forgot about it. I completely lost the whole week, basically. I'm sure. <laughs> so the first energy of the day is to rebuild. And rebuilding has many factors in it. It could mean that we are rebuilding ourselves from the inside out which is positive because uh, then we've got a lot of a lot of good things to work with so let's find out first okay the first card is wrong wrong one first card is huh I went from the wrong direction let me see <laughs> have a look see all right so the first card is and it's very apropos for February even with it's just the beginning it's the lovers and the lovers is a really good energy I like it because it basically talks about people who are in love but they are helping each other grow closer and closer to that which is most important to each other. In my case, I would say we're getting closer to the divine. For others, it could be closer relationship, but things are moving and they're moving in a very positive way. So let us see what, what that, what covers it now. The four of Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords, of course, has a lot to do with coming out of a depression rather than being in a depression. It's uh, it's the cards of the light is coming through. It's you're, you're starting to wake up. Things are starting to move in a positive way. So it's, it's not horrible because we're coming out of that which has kept us down or depressed or are not seeing clearly. And depression is generally living in the past. So so what has happened in our recent past? We get the Hierophant. And the Hierophant has to do with well with my in my deck it's always healing. But the Hierophant is the master teacher. He he's the one that keeps the knowledge. So when you have knowledge true knowledge, not necessarily book learning, but real knowledge, that's when you start to heal. When you recognize that that which is your soul is tr truly transcendental. We're here simply as a lesson or learning or an experience. Then, then we can heal. And once we've learned how to heal, good things start to happen. So what's just below us? Well, you guessed it. <laughs> this is a deep change on on a deep subconscious level. You're cutting away small little threads that hold one big piece together. And one day that last thread that holds it down is going to cut cut and it's going to go bob up to the surface which it has done a great deal in the last few weeks I mean yeah we went through the eclipse didn't we how many of you were knocked on your butts most most people had something going on I had something going on not majorly I learned I dealt with it really quickly but for a couple of days, I was it was a little hairy for me in my imagination. What's in, directly in front of us for this week? And I love it. It's the Ten of Cups. And that's the opening up of joy and happiness. But it's not 
the beginning levels. It's something we've opened up a long time ago, and we're dealing, we've dealt with it a long time because it's the mature form of happiness and joy. And, and uh, just enjoy that part of it. And what's going to be long-term for this week? We've got the hangman. And I'm not sure what the hangman means yet, so I'm going to put it, because it generally has one meaning, but it, this is a week, so this is a major arcana. So I suspect it doesn't mean patience. I suspect it means there is a lot happening in our subconscious in our behind the scenes in areas we are unaware of. So that I think is the takeaway from this card today. That there's a lot happening that we are unaware of. And this this card proves that what I just said is true. This is the nine of pentacles and it's somebody who's reaping the rewards after putting in the effort, the effort to make uh, her life better and enjoy. It doesn't mean she's finished because there's still butterflies there that are transformation. But right now, take a breath, enjoy, because things are not rushing this week. They're, they're, they're letting go, but they're letting go calmly and quietly. And this... This one again, this agrees with me. Six of Swords, it says the Six of Swords is one of the few swords that's good. Well, positive, not good. They're all good. But the Six of Swords is the angel showing her her person that he's almost at the place he wants to be. So things are coming to, not ahead because this is a positive, but things are coming your way in the way you want them to happen shortly and quickly. And that, the next card doesn't really fit in. I'll show you why. It's do everything with courage, be stay in balance, and know where you're going. You don't necessarily have to know how you're going to get there. And with your A-type, that'll drive you absolutely insane. But I don't happen to be A-type, so I'm perfectly fine with that. I allow my world to unfold around me. Now, if you're an A-type, you want to know that A, B, C, and D is happening first. And go for it. Try that. See, see how that works for you. And what is the last card for this week? And remember, we're coming into February. The last card is love. So there's many forms of love. The one that most of us think of is a man and a woman. But there's many other male and female type energies. There's also the love of a mother for the child, a child for the father, a young lady for the horse that uh, just threw her off in the field, but she forgives him anyhow. There's so many forms of love. So enjoy the love that comes your way, regardless of what it is. And if it happens to be romantic love, which February is the month of romance, go with it and joy. All right. Okay. So with that, I'm saying namaste. It's been a pleasure.